welcome back. As you can see, I've already finished texturing my armor. Um, I should I was going to release this video yesterday, but I got tired and had to go to bed. <laughs> Anyways, I spent a little bit of time, you know, working with the layers and texture properties and uh, setting my armor up. So it looked really cool, you know. This actually looks like a really cool texture. I textured it all the way around. And also, I wanted to mention one thing about the alpha property. If you're working with the dark armor, it's generally good since we're not going too far into unwrapping UVWs. Set your background to black because that line that's going to appear, uh, you don't want it to be too obvious. So I just set your texture quality to black. And that way, when it creates the line, it's just this black line. And it's really small, hard to notice. So when you first create your background and you select that color when you're setting up the DDS just set it to black that way the background is black and you can work with black and alphas uh, so again once you're done editing all your textures just right click on the screen if all your images have been flattened it'll uh, go ahead and just save it to the texture file you've named if not it'll a pop-up menu will pop up and say and then you would just click flatten layers and save image file uh, would be the option you select now you can see in my viewport it got really dark when I saved it in game it's not going to be this dark it's generally going to be about that dark you know so always make your textures darker than what you want them to appear in game 3ds max will show it one way the game will show it another it's going to look out all right and if not we can always fix that in GIMP and I'll show you how to do that in here in a minute uh, so now with my texture file save, I'm all done here. I don't need to do anything with this breastplate because we've already exported it and we just painted it and we saved the paint. So when I'm done, I'm just going to click this X here and I'm just going to minimize this for now. You can close yours out if you want. I'm just going to minimize mine. Uh, I'm going to close these windows so we can start with a fresh plate here. Saved it in UMP Custom Armors, Textures, and this is our breastplate right here. So. Uh, go ahead and drag this over to the side. We're going to create the alpha for this uh, and we're also going to create a backup of that breastplate which I forgot to do. In fact, let's do that right now. Go ahead and go into your uh, UMP custom armors. Go to data, meshes, armor. We should have done this from the get-go. Daedric, test one. This was the breastplate that we just exported. Go ahead and hit control C on this and then backspace, clear to the front. And remember how we had that backup folder? Just go into backup and hit control V and then right click on the Daedric Torso, the breastplate, and we're going to rename it. And we're going to call it breastplate. This is our original mesh file. This has got the breastplate in it before we uh, did anything else like textured it or anything. So if we ever screw anything up with the breastplate or we want to use it for a different armor and then repaint it, we can always come here and pull it out and get it from here from its original. So I, after you've uh, you know created a backup for that, go ahead and close this out. We don't need it. All right. So once you've uh, you know finished saving your text, you get on your desktop. First thing we want to do is go ahead and open up GIMP. And remember, we saved it in the UMP Custom Armors Textures. So go ahead and go to File, Open, and you're going to want to get to it. So go to uh, your desktop, and you're going to go into UMP uh, Custom Armors. Go to Textures and select the breastplate and select open. I'm going to grab the one off my desktop because I wanted to show you uh, what I did to make my background black. So I'm going to select my breastplate. Just open up yours normally like you did. Alright, now you see how the background isn't, uh, it's not black, it's like a white and that line's going to show up very evident. Well, I don't want that, so if you wanted to fix it, all you had to do is go into uh, over here to paint and click on this and set it clear to black just by clicking in this window and dragging it to the upper left hand corner select OK and then you can just paint and it'll paint everywhere where it wasn't black. Remember, remember I said if you think it's too bright in the game and you want to darken it, well we can darken that right now. I can go into colors and I can go to brightness and contrast and I can just lower the brightness in here like by just dragging this number down and that'll decrease how bright it was in game but I'm also going to want to probably hit my contrast up a little bit to make certain parts show through a little better so you can also raise your contrast to make the blacks a little darker and more defined and you can lower your brightness to make the armor not so bright and then you just select OK and that's a better texture to work with once you did that you can go to file uh, export and select export then you can go in to your uh, UMP custom armors and go into textures and you would save it over here since I've already done this well I'll show you you'd click you'd select the breastplate you'd select export select replace uh, compression can be none the format you can set this to our 
uh, GB8 in format. And if you want to do mipmaps, you can say generate mipmaps. That's not that doesn't matter. Then just select OK and it'll export. I'm not going to do that because I've already done this. So I'm going to deselect all these. Now with this uh, selected, you have to use saved it with the black background so we don't get that white line behind our armor on that UV line. Uh, go ahead and select. Uh, first, we want to desaturate it. Remember, so we're going to go into colors. We're going to select desaturate. Lightness is fine. Select OK. And then we're going to go into colors. And we're going to select levels. You want to take the middle one, if you recall, drag it up till it's almost black on the screen. You can't see anything. Then we're going to drag this line clear back over until it looks kind of like that. You see how like the whites are really white, and maybe I want to drag the blacks back a little bit. And you just got to move these levels around so you get something to where you can kind of see the grays, but not, you know, and the blacks. So it's almost black and white, sort of like this. So just drag the middle one closer to the white one, then drag the white one clear back. So you get a screen that looks kind of like this, and that's fine. You could even go even farther back, but uh, yeah, you're going to have problems. So I'm just going to leave mine like right, right about here. This is good. I think this is fine. This will show some. Uh, uh, levels in the armor and just select OK. <clears throat> now we're ready to turn it into a normal map so right click anywhere on your screen go to filters find maps and then select normal map. This window pops up a few settings here I like to set mine to a 9.9 and you always want to check wrap because it's a normal map and then after you've done that you want to take scale and go ahead and raise scale up and this scales how much this map's going to affect how the armor kind of looks rough. So I'm going to take mine up to say a 5 and I can look here in the preview to get an idea of you know how much of an effect it's going to have. 5 looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Conversion and DU is fine. Just leave those as no and select OK. We're just going to go ahead and save what our normal map that we just made. So go ahead and uh, export it. File export and I want to export it into my textures so I'm going to go down to my UMP custom armors go to textures I'm going to select my breastplate.dds and I'm not going to save over it I'm going to go here and I need to change the name of this breastplate to an underscore D but for now I'm just going to go underscore in so breastplate underscore in for normal map that way I know what this texture is and select export gives me this pop-up compression I don't need to worry about that format I like to do art GB8 because there's no alpha and I don't care about mip maps but I'll go ahead and generate them anyways and select OK. Now once that's done you can go ahead and exit out of this. So I can go to file, quit, uh, and I'll just discard the changes. Not important. Now real quick let's fix a couple of things. Remember let's change the breastplate name. I screwed this up before. I was really tired yesterday so change the breastplate to underscore D. That's our diffuse and our underscore N. Now if we want we can go ahead and test this breastplate in game so let's go ahead and do that before we move on to the next part of the tutorials where I'm going to show you about slicing planes on the undergarment to kind of create a cooler bottom half of the armor that doesn't look like granny panties but still looks really cool. Uh, so just go ahead and set up uh, so we can test this out in game. Just a quick test run. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our UMP custom armors. We know we know in our backup, this is where our breastplate is. So go to backup and then double click breastplate. Okay, this is our NIF. We want to move this over. So drag this in the lower left hand corner. And then go back to UMP custom armors. Go to data, meshes, base, body mesh. And select female body underscore zero and double click that. I drag that into the lower right hand corner. Now we already know we have to fix the root node name so select the root node of the female body and in text go ahead and open that up. Drag over the body name, select copy then cancel then go over here to the root ni node select the scene root text and go ahead and paste. You already know how to do all this. Now we're going to drag this off of the bad textured body over to the one that hasn't been affected so I can zoom in on the armor to make sure I get the right one select it and then over here click on it and hit control C then go over to the root node here click on the root node and hit control V and there's our breastplate that we just made so let's put the textures on it if you remember how to get a good BS uh, lighting shader property uh, you can go ahead and move forward and just do that. I'm going to go ahead and drop down the NI tri shape, select the BS lighting shader property. I'm going to just hit control, delete on that, 
and I'm going to select the NI material property and I'm going to hit control and delete on that. It's just a first test, you know, to make sure everything moves right and the texture looks good in game. So let's get the uh, BS lighting shader property from another file, which we already know we can go to Skyrim mesh, drag this over and go to meshes, uh, clothes, farm clothes 01, and then find torso F underscore zero and double click that. This is always a good BS lighting shader property to start with. It has some good values set to it. So drop down the uh, menu so you can click on the close. <coughs> drop down the menu for it. Select the BS lighting shader property, hit control C. Then click on your armor in the other window, hit control V. Now we're going to assign 35, it's the number, to the NI tri shape of the armor. So click on the armor and then drag your properties all the way down and drop down the properties list and type in 35 and click off of it. Now we got to fix the texture assigner, right? We're done with this. We got the BS lighting shader part. So go ahead and X that. And well, before we assign the textures, we need to put the textures in the actual game engine. So you can minimize your NI scope. Go ahead and close this window here with the body in it. We don't need that. And here's our underscore DN or underscore N that we just created. So I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to hit control C. And I'm going to go to our, you remember our UMP customs shortcut to our texture file in game? Go ahead and double click that. And we're just going to put it in here and hit control V. Now it's inside the game engine. This is, if I move this back arrow, you'll see that this is actually in the game. It's data, textures, close, UMP customs. This is in the game, trust me. We created this shortcut in an earlier tutorial. So let's go ahead and assign it to this. So I'm going to close this window and uh, I'll leave this one open for now. Pull up my uh, NIF scope tool again, select the BS lighting shader property. Uh, before I even move forward, while I'm in the BS lighting shader property, let's go ahead and make this double sided. So in shader flags 2, select it, double click on the window, drop it up for the value, select SF double sided. That's going to double side our texture so you can't see through the armor. All right, now let's drop down the arrow, select the BS lighting, uh, BS shader texture set, drop down the textures. Now we need to assign it. Actually, let's double click this UMP custom shortcut so we can get the address and just hit control copy. So that way it'll take us straight to where it is in the game engine. And that's a lot faster to go like, uh, whoops, cancel, hold on. Select the little cog wheel next to the one on top and go in here, hit control V. And I'll take us right to it, enter breastplate underscore D for diffuse because the fuse always goes on the top one. And I'm gonna put the normal map on the bottom one doing the same thing. Control V, enter, press plate underscore in and hit open. Now remember this address needs to be shortened up to where it's textures. So double click on it and then select just before the T, drag back and hit, uh, you know, just click off of it works too. And go to textures just before the T, drag back, go like that and then click off of it. All right, now you can't see it in here, that's fine. You're gonna see it in game because the address is data, is the cogwheel, textures, close, UMP, customs, breastplate, underscore T. You know, that's the address. The cogwheel, think of that as data, and everything after it is the address uh, of the folders going to your uh, texture. All right, this is ready to be tested in game, so I'm gonna go and file, save as. Now, I don't wanna save over my female body, that would be bad, so already in the UMP custom armors. I select that, I'm gonna data, meshes, armor, Daedric, test one. And we could save over this because remember we already did a backup of our breastplate and we put it in the backup folder. So select this and select save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Now we're ready to put it in game and test it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to select uh, the Daedric shortcut because this is uh, the address for it in game. And we're going to go to it in our UMP custom armor. So select UMP custom armors. Go to data, meshes, armor, Daedric, test one, select our Daedric torso of zero, hit control C, and paste it in game. Copy and replace. All right, now I'll see you in the next video to test out how our breastplate looks inside the game.